The Mine House Inn doesn't look like the house on Haunted Hill. It's a beautiful bed and breakfast in Amador City, once the offices of the Keystone Mine, whose ruins lie just across the road. We had previous guests that came, would come up and say, we want to stay in, in, the, in the haunted rooms upstairs. And it was only after Rose Mendy and her husband Alan purchased the inn that they heard the stories. That in the vault room in the middle of the night, the bathroom faucet sometimes decides to turn on by itself. Come on in. That in the director's room, there's a cabinet that opens when no one is standing near. It's late at night. The wind is blowing outside the window. There's a fire in the fireplace. Perhaps you're having a glass of wine before going to bed. And then... There's Sarah. This is where uh, Sarah supposedly like, likes to sit on this chair. This was there the are no stories as to why Sarah's spirit should wander here. There was a murder back in the old mining days, but not of a woman. It was a watchman in the retort room, singled out by would-be robbers. They put chloroform in through the window to get the night watchman to go to sleep. He woke up in the middle of the robbery and he was killed. They don't think he's one of the ghosts here, though. On the other hand... My mom was in the kitchen, which was around the bend and we both heard these boots, you know, walking, like somebody was coming towards the office, and we both went outside and we looked at each other and there wasn't anyone there. But the nice thing about these ghosts, Rose says, is that they're all friendly ghosts. They're very friendly, yes, absolutely. They haven't done anything mean to anybody as far as I know. <laughs> In Amador City, Jonathan Mum, Newstead.